Hey guys, what's up? It's Outdoor Vector here again, and I want to tell you about a recent adventure we took to go dog sledding. It's been something that I wanted to do for a long time, um, something that I've always seen in documentaries and films, and it just really seemed really interesting to me. And so I'm glad we had a chance to go visit Bear Ridge Adventures up near Park City, Utah. So you start off the, the whole experience by meeting at their office place um, at their address. And they'll start off with some brief introduction about the different dog breeds that they have and how the dogs work. And then one of the other things that what we did is you got to learn how to harness up the dogs to be, um, to pull the sleds. So after that brief explanation, they'll take a short van trip up to the sleds where the dogs are. Just sit with the puppy. Okay, buddy. You want to get your harness on? Oh yeah. We I'm gonna take the take him off the line. Oh, hold on, buddy. Hold on, buddy. Okay, you gotta flip it around. Yep. And then put his legs through there. Yeah. Whoa, you ready to go? You'll note here that once you get up to where the dogs and the sleds are, that it can be a little bit of a chaotic experience, especially if you're not acquainted with dogs and you don't know how dogs act. There's a lot of barking. The dogs are just really excited to get going and to get running. So if that's something that, that you think may uh, put you off a little bit, maybe wear some earplugs or earmuffs or something like that to just help you get through that point. But once you get on the trail, a lot of the barking kind of stops. Here you see the type of sled that you'll be riding in. For us, we are riding in tandem sleds, and so you can see how one person will be standing in the back, and then you'll have your guide or your musher in the middle standing, and then in the front you'll have another person sitting, or perhaps two people sitting. I think there is a max weight limit of 350 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, uh, so you'll want to check that out and plan how your party is going to be divided. Wow, these guys can get going fast when we started. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they look like they love it, so. <laughs> you definitely don't have to coax them into running. <laughs> Throughout the ride, you also take some short breaks while you have a chance okay. to take some pictures with the dogs or the sleds um, and also the, the beautiful surrounding yeah. scenery. He's got an itchy back. You got an itchy back? You got an itchy back? Here, to help you. <laughs> there you go. Brothers. Mm -hmm. really, they really shot out of there. They're just, you feed them. They're like teenage boys. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Oh, okay, yeah. 
you can see there's some exposed patches of ground here on the trail as we were making our way. And that's mainly because we were going pretty late in the season. Uh, this is around the March time, time frame when we went. But I'm sure in the peak of the season, in the winter peak, that there's plenty of snow on the ground. As soon as he tries, right? Yeah, you gotta get the break out or something. I gotta let him know. Uh, no, that's the right one. Uh -huh. Go that way, boy. Delta, G! 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 Okay, will you walk up alongside of him? Uh huh. There's, that, there's a line between those two uh -huh. leaders. And kind of pull him. Pull him onto this trail? Tell him to go G. So G, G. G. And I'll try not to run you over. Oh, okay. <laughs> Delta, we're gonna go G. Go G. Ah, 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 ah. G. G. Come on, Delta. G. 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 Yeah, man. <laughs> yep. So G means right. Okay. Left is Ha. Okay. Delta is usually really good about it. Uh huh. Throughout the tour. Your guide and your musher will have a lot of great information about the dogs and the sled as you're going, and also about some of the views that you'll be seeing. They really are a wealth of information, so it was kind of cool just to talk to them as we went along. The idea around is walk, it's a trace, it goes a little over a thousand miles. Delta, though, so Del our leader Delta has run that number of times. He, he did really well, too. I mean, every time he ran, and they were top ten. Wow, the best time, the best I did was third place. Which really, that's third place is like wow. Yeah, because that's a tough. Thing. They just gotta pace themselves. Okay, so he's a good dog. The ones that go to that time with big distance, we're gonna try to go to the aircraft. But I would mean, say like if you can make play the Delta, ah, oh. ah, oh. oh, good. There you go. Good. All right. <laughs> I got everything I got on the brake. I just let it go. You get okay back there?
<laughs> so overall, I definitely would recommend going on one of these dog sled adventures. Um, I will admit that when I first was seeking out uh, doing one of these experiences, the prices kind of gave me a little bit of sticker shock. But I did have to consider that it's one of those lifetime type experiences. It's not like I'm going to go dog sledding every winter, right? Um, and so to me, it was a worthwhile experience to invest that money. Um, like I said before, I've seen dog sledding in documentaries and also in movies, and it's just something that always kind of interested me. Plus, uh, as a family, we're, we're really dog people, and so we, we loved being around the dogs and just loving on them. So if you're in the market to take a dog sledding adventure, be sure to look up Bear Ridge Adventures <laughs> up near Park City, Utah. Until next time, have a great time outdoors. Happy.